did it again. Today we're down to 75 degrees instead of 79. So hopefully I won't have to add as much water into this mash. But yes, it is a good morning. We are ready to mash in for a second attempt. Hopefully an improved attempt at the blonde ale, AKA the vacant gesture. So I'm gonna ditch the aloe beer, that's a goner. But we also have the first vacant gesture still in the tanks. I've run it on a cold crash. Maybe it will change. It's nowhere near as sharp and as bitter as the aloe is. So I'm gonna give it a couple of days, at least until Tom arrives on Saturday. And if we don't have a consensus, out it goes. And hopefully this batch will be a worthy replacement. That's the plan. So I'm gonna get mashed in. Uh, we've got a meeting this afternoon at 11 o'clock with the neighborhood, some of the people who share our courtyard to discuss uh, the less, what shall we say, palatable tenants that we have around here. Hopefully we can get them fucking shifted on. And uh, after that's finished, uh, I'll try to work it in between the transfer maybe and the start of the boil. So it'll give me time to uh, sit down for an hour. And then after that, we should be looking kosher again to go home before five o'clock. Or do some work on the tables. Either way, it's gonna be a good day. I can feel it in my bones. this day of the year so far I have managed to complete the vacant gesture or the blonde however you'd like to describe it and I'm fully anticipating Gemma walking through the door any second now to take the car keys from me quick shot in there you can see no you can't are you coming round? It's all been a bad dream. Can you see me? <laughs> oh my God, it's a nightmare. So, uh, yeah, it's been a good day actually. During the transfer and chill, which takes well over an hour, I'll be glad to get this new plate chiller at some point. Not desperate for it though. So because it's such a long chill, there's uh, a common bit of ground down the road. Lovely place, actually. Lovely flowering trees. Smells amazing. Canal runs right along the side of it in Retford. So uh, I grabbed the dog and we had a 20 minute walk. I left this lot going. Not a problem. I came back, weren't even a third done. Hey up, look who it ain't. Hello, mate. Anyway. All right, yo. We'll give you a plug. Fix some windows. It's always nice to see Dave. I do give him a hard time, but he's a good lad. So I've just been another quick half with him. I've set up the uh, recirculation for the pump to uh, recirc caustic around the boil kettle. For some reason, we are beginning to get some drips of caustic come through that uh, seal so I think 
what we need to do is put some maybe some flat bar or maybe even some timber around the lid I've gone dark around the lid to allow the steel to be a little bit more rigid it's flexing a touch but that's uh, that's just all part of the process we'll get to it when we get to it so there's a load of racket in here I'm gonna go up to the pub while this is recirculating for an hour and have a pint and then when I come back down hopefully Jim will be here to take me home and then tomorrow we won't be brewing no sir we'll be doing something else and uh, maybe getting out a recipe for a coconut shy brew day on Saturday with Froggy and new to homebrew Tom but until then it's just gonna be me for another couple of days so we'll see you tomorrow folks short one today but worth the wait see you tomorrow